The defendant, Patrick Cooney, remains in jail on a $2 million bond. The man who died, Elijah Lewis, was well known in the Central District and on the South End as a community activist. His family and friends were following along closely today in court. Before this moment, with people packed in a courtroom. For the record, this is a matter of the state of Washington versus Patrick F. Cooney. There was this one outside in the hallway. It seems going to be like a tenuous journey. For Mario Dunham, today marks his first time seeing in person the man accused of killing his brother, Elijah Lewis. It, it won't be the first time for my niece who saw him shooting my brother as he drove away. He says his niece was watching as Lewis picked up his nephew on April 1st to take him to a Monster Jam truck rally for the boy's ninth birthday. But instead of a celebration, there was a crime scene. Police say on Capitol Hill, 35-year-old Patrick Cooney was riding a scooter when there was some sort of traffic dispute with Lewis. According to investigators, as Lewis drove away, Cooney pulled out a gun and fired five shots at Lewis's car, hitting him in the chest and his nine-year-old nephew in the leg. He has to remember being in pain and watching my uh, brother get hit and then driving a block down and then crashing and then being on top of him as he's trying to protect him with his last breath. In court, Jim Dixon representing Mr. Cooney. Cooney's attorney said the case has received attention and generated hostility toward his client. Um, as a result of that, and for safety considerations, Your Honor, we are asking that the media be directed not to photograph um, Mr. Cooney's face. What? what? It was a request no. denied. There is a strong constitutional right of the public to observe court proceedings. What followed was Cooney entering his plea. A pleas of not guilty are entered. And now it's two families affected by one man's decision uh, to be a coward. He says at just 23 years old, Elijah Lewis had become a leader speaking out against gun violence. He was a light and a beacon for a community. And the community has shown up to honor the legacy he leaves behind. Patrick Cooney waived his right to a speedy trial. The case is not due back in court until August 23rd. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.